made our way across this tropical forest. And you were finally able to achieve your goal. You'd found the zombie that you wanted to capture. Hmm. It had been very hard to get to that point. After we lost Kanda, we felt even more hopeless than ever. But the chance to catch one of the monsters revived our spirits. We could show it to the whole world and sound the alarm. That extra boost allowed us to increase our effort and overcome all of the threats that we faced. Finally, we were about to reach our goal. Hey, bright eyes! Let's see if you can catch me! No, come back! You're running in the wrong direction! We gotta hurry! We gotta bring him right back! Huh? You'd better watch out for us! Cause we eat zombies! <sighs> yeah, watch out! Run away while you still can! Or we're gonna catch you! <laughs> So scary, oh, 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 very scary, oh. It's so interesting. As long as it's following someone else's orders, it causes a lot of madness and destruction. Now that it has no leader, it doesn't know what to do and runs away. It may not be as friendly, but it's almost like a puppy without an owner. Right. It now has a magical bond with us, and we're going to treat it with real care. Blade's always there. He keeps passing by just like a shark who's looking for his prey. If Tracy and the boys come to the shore, but too far away from us, do you think that Blade might catch them instead? No, my girl. They should be okay, since a small group of kids is not as visible as a whole ship covered by a bunch of trees. Where in blazes are you hiding, Silver? This time I'll catch you. I swear that I will. And where is Shadow? If he doesn't catch those brats with the zombies I sent, bah! Well, he better just pray he doesn't fail me at all. Unbearable. I'm drenched in sweat and I'm absolutely dying of thirst. But we lost a water canteen running through the field yesterday. And the water in the streams is way too filthy to drink. Maybe if we found the right kind of tree. In Africa, some trees are a good source of water. This one looks like it might be a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got lucky, but can we drink it? I don't know how to tell if it's poisonous or not. Yes, it looks like you can. They call this the milk tree. Its sap is good to drink. Actually, 
It does taste like milk. Yeah. Uh, uh, I needed this so much. But the zombie, oh. it's disappeared. I thought you were watching it. Weren't you? Prisoner escape! Ah! Prisoner escape! Ah! We can't fight. We have to find it. Huh? Huh? Stop! Don't take another step. It's quicksand. If you step into it, you'll be a goner for sure. The ropes are too far away for us to reach him. I'm gonna get him out. I'm gonna use this vine. You hang on to the other end of it. Huh. Don't do anything crazy. The sand sucks you in. It'd take a lot of strength to pull someone out from there. Then you're just gonna have to pull us out with all your might. That zombie is our last hope against Blade. Let's wrap the vine around the trunk. Just like a pulley. See if you can lie on your stomach, Jim. Try to swim on over. Uh, no, I can't do it! Oh, magnificent, Flint! I'm promoting you to Admiral! Try to put yourself on your back to slide better. Come on now, pull! With all the strength you can muster. For Mama Kanda! Uh, yes, for Mama Kanda! Uh, for her, uh, and for our mission too! Uh, if I can just get you a little farther. Uh, we can make it from here. Ah, uh, uh, oh, victory! Yes, victory. That's enough surprises. We need to get ourselves back to the Albatross. The shore is that way. We'll try to find a safe path through here. Ah, oh, very dangerous! Ah! Oh. What the heck is that? That's a Jaguar! But why did it ignore us? Maybe it wasn't hungry. No, when they're not hungry, they don't run. They only run to hunt and to, to get away from pending danger. Do you remember when the forest got deathly quiet? We had no idea what was coming at us. And we still don't know. I think we should follow the Jaguar. It'll definitely know how to pass through the marshland. It can show us the way. That tree trunk, that's our way across. But it's all been covered with moss. It has to be slippery. We don't have a choice. We all have to cross it. Us and the zombie. Phew. Fine. After you. After you, sir. Ah! Ugh. Hey, keep it together. Watch where you're stepping. Well, I guess I don't need to tell him what to do. Let's just get him off this trunk. And now we'll get out of this forest as soon as possible. First, we have to make sure that Shadow and the other zombies don't follow us anymore. Help me. We'll push the log into the water. And up! Hey, get out of there, you beast! Uh, uh, there's no lunch for you here! Good job! Huh? Let's get this over with! Now we can start to make our way back to the ship! We have to keep going from here. Lie down on top of him, and when you do, keep floating as long as you can. You walk over him and lie down next in line, and you try to keep yourself afloat too.
Keep following me before you sink too. Now let's hurry up. There's no time to lose. It looks like we made it out of the marshland, but the quicksand pools are coming more frequent. The ocean shouldn't be too far away. I think I see seagulls. I didn't miss them much. I can't wait till I get back and hug Lynn. I don't know about you, but as soon as we get to the sea, I might dive in and take a nice cool swim for a while. Oh, I won't. With all these animals, I don't know what's in there. You can relax your powerful teeth and claws, my brother Jaguar. You will serve another purpose. Watch out! Shoot it! Shoot it! Hurry! What are you doing? Shoot it! I gave you an order! It's pointless for you and I to fight. There's nothing you can do. Huracan. The sorceress you wanted to use against me is no longer living. What else will you try to come up with to get rid of me next time? You soulless, pale cutthroat! I do have a soul. It's evil demons like you who have never had one! Continue to tell yourself that I'm evil. It's that line of thought that will lead you to the wrong side of destiny. But that's not what's important. Know that those you are chasing will be able to get away. So I'm ordering you to go back to my servant and get him to return to the island that he governs. To make sure he continues my mission for him. You're protecting that group of fugitives, even though they're the ones that are trying to destroy your plan? But why? I'm not protecting anyone. I'm only preserving that which is meant to be. Ah. There they are! Lynn! Here we are! Uh, I'll hedge on that! Uh... Huh? Quiet! Huh? Get in! Hurry! Huh? Ah. Huh? <sighs> Little sister, I've missed you so much! I thought of you the whole time I was out there! <laughs> Now you see how disgusting this miserable place can actually be. And this is what you were hunting. Now what do we do with it? <laughs> Does anyone want to share their hammock with him? Oh no, Ben thinks that would be very bad. Oh, very bad, oh. Actually, we should keep him somewhere safe. Tie him up in chains. No, we're going to keep him locked in a cabin without weapons. No matter what, he was once a human being and what he's become is not his fault. Uh. Get boats in the water. Go out and get Shadow and the others. He doesn't have the kids with him. What could have happened to them? Did he eliminate them or lose them? They got away. I had almost found them, but Huracan stopped me. That maniac. What kind of game is he playing? <sighs> I think he's taking his revenge for what we wanted to do with the African witch. But what does he want? Silver and those brats to bring that zombie to the public and destroy his plan? Why would that matter to him? He can always find someone else like you to pick things right back up where he left off. But we would lose out. He keeps me in his hand. As always. I hate it, and now that the sorceress is gone, what can we do? We will find another way. For now, I'm only interested in finding Silver and the missing zombies. They are hidden away in some secret spot on the coast. And I will find them. Blade has us stuck here. We can't move or make any noise for now. And that goes for you too, Flint. So how do we get out of here? Since I've been out here and tried to think about it, I have not found a solution. Maybe there's a way we could draw the Maldita away from here, and then we slip away in the darkness. I have an idea. I don't see anything. Tomorrow at dawn, we'll put the boats in the water and we'll search every inch of the coastline. Their ship couldn't have just vanished. As soon as the candle is out, run to the Albatross. 
because once it gets to that point, it'll light the fuse. But what about these decoys? Don't you think Tracy and I are much more beautiful than those things? Sure you are. And Blade will be very angry to be bested by a beautiful young lady such as you. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? We gotta get out of here fast! The fire! Off the port side! They must be crazy to attack us! But it's a trap! It might be a trap, but there they are! They might be under attack by the natives! But if that's true, those tribes better not get in the way of my revenge! There's no moon and the wind is at our back. It seems that Uncle Neptune is on our side tonight. So did we fool them all with our little trick? <laughs> it's too early to say. It won't take long to see the trick. We have to move while they still haven't figured it out. Hopefully we bought ourselves enough time to get far away. No! 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 They've all played me like a blasted fool! Everyone return to the ship! We have to hurry! Now! We have to give thanks to this pitch black night, but the game is still afoot! Come on, Jojo. Let's go down and pay a visit to our guest. All of this is very bad. Ben Gunn, if you were still among us, would not like this, not one little bit! If it were up to me, I wouldn't have even let it on board. But the captain knows what he's doing. Or so I hope. I think I'm going to go in there unarmed. Because when we found him, he never once tried to attack us. And that's something I just can't forget. Since my childhood, I've always been used to thinking of them as these horrible monsters. But they're these poor bodies forced to obey. But that doesn't mean they'll obey you, you know? I know. But Kanda said that I was a medicine man that I had to heal this wound. And now that plague is here, just behind this door. I have to find the cure. If Mama told you all this, then she had to be right. So I'll be coming with you. Hmm. Oh, I hadn't noticed this in the forest, but now that we have him indoors, oh, he has a stench about him that's unbearable. It's a poor man's dead body imprisoned by some strange supernatural forces. I wonder where his spirit is now. According to the legends, his spirit is suspended in a place that's known to my people as the Landless. He's only allowed to follow the path of the ancestors in the afterlife after his body's been destroyed. We could do that right away and give him peace. We know how to do it. We just hit him in the forehead and he'll be reduced to ashes. But we can't. Forgive me for making you suffer more. Your sacrifice will serve to help us save the world and save many more from this horror. What else can I do? Maybe. That's all even Mama could have been able to do. But to ask for forgiveness is very good. It's a grand gesture of humility. The prayer of that young medicine man just saved your soul. Soon you will be free. I promise. No matter what the route they might have taken, we have to find them! Prepare your ravens to search through the entire sea! There you are. My associate tells me that you allowed the kids to escape. So may I ask why? I do not discuss my plans with my servants. I'm only here to tell you where you can find the fugitives. Veracruz. Hmm. Yes, that makes sense. They show Victor Ramirez the zombie and accuse me of witchcraft. It would be a catastrophe. How do you know that for sure? Did you spy on them as they decided? They have not decided yet, but I already know they will choose that route. Bah! Predictions and prophecies. I put no faith in things like that. You will go and follow your enemy, and try to stop them at sea, while your assassin travels ahead of you to the port and prepares a trap. Now I see. So what? 
My only choice is to obey you, right? We have a new route. 15 degrees to port. We have to hope that demon isn't really fooling all of us. So tell us, Captain Hawkins, where are we going? I would exclude the English colonies. Blade will surely keep them under his watch. Well, I don't even want to see the people of Portugal. Not after what they did to my people in Bahia. France and the Netherlands seem much too far away for our supplies to last. But in Veracruz, we'd have the Spanish Viceroy. By Uncle Neptune's mighty trident. I'm sorry, but do you have any idea what the Spaniards would do to such a wanted criminal like me? I already feel the noose tightening. We won't go there as criminals. We'll go as allies. The Viceroy will see the zombie and he'll realize that we're helping him stop a disaster from happening. Oh, I'm sure. And maybe he'll give us a medal for it. Off to Veracruz. And may Uncle Neptune be with us. Yes, there they are. We have them now. Hudakon, stop them! It's no wonder that revenge will always escape your grasp, puny human. You're unable to reach your enemy without constantly asking for my help. That's enough of your droning. Instead of trying to argue with me, why don't you give me a hand and help me settle this whole vendetta? Enemy ship approaching! Enemy ship! Uh -huh. Very bad! Uh -huh. Enemy ship! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's still very far away. Then it'll have to try harder to catch up to us. No ship of the Caribbean is faster than ours. <laughs> But what's all of this? It looks like... Seaweed! It appeared from nothing! This has to be magic, Jim. Remember that ancient spirit you met? It trapped us for Blade. Attack them, and bring them all back to me. But remember, I want them alive. They're getting closer. We have to stop them or we're in trouble. Put all of the on-screen cannons and pistols. We'll blow them all uh, to pieces. Put a gun, put a gun. Uh. No. I have an idea. I need something I can use to increase a smell. Something that makes it sharp and penetrating. I've got it. The ether. I saw it in a bottle in Dr. Livesey's bag. Come on, Lynn. Let's go get it. When we were in the forest, a crocodile attacked a zombie. All other animals ran away, but the crocodile didn't. Crocodiles are fierce, but I can think of a predator even more fierce. Sharks. I don't know what it is Jim's been trying to cook up, but I just hope he does it soon, eh? And what's all this? I'm soaking the zombie's clothes in ether to enhance the stench. And once I throw it into the water, the smell should become, if possible, even more intense. Ugh, I don't want to smell that. No, oh, what's the matter with you? Guess you're not used to the kinds of strong smells I've experienced. <laughs> ah, that's new. There! If I'm right, the shark should smell that from miles around. I know that that is a terrible stench, but look there. Oh, yes, they're retreating. Ha, we made it. We sure did. We have the wind back. We need to get out of here now. Let's get this ship all the way out of this nasty seaweed. Get out there, you cowards. And don't come back until you've brought me that crew. I stopped your enemy, but it appears that the young medicine man has defeated you. So now you have missed your chance. No! Stop them again! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Here we go, straight on to Veracruz. Assuming that this powerful spirit will ever allow us to get there. Mama understood something. While that spirit might fight us, it'll surely still respect us. So then maybe we really do still have hope.